Hi guys, Matt from 123MyOT here. I had a funny story recently when a family member said, I was getting so many notifications on that chat group that I just had to leave the group. And my reply was, well, why didn't you just turn the notifications off or adjust them? So I wanted to do a video which will hopefully help you guys take control of your notifications and stop them from being annoying and distracting. Let's get started. You can find Notification Center by swiping down from the top left. And to edit a notification directly, you can just swipe across on it and you will get more options depending on the type of notification. If you get an SMS notification on the Messenger app, swipe across on it and you will have an options button. You can mute for one hour or mute for the whole day. You can turn off all notifications for messages or you can tap on view settings. This will take you into the notification settings for the app that you're in. In this case, it's the notification settings for messages. If you want to find the notification settings for all apps, you can find it under settings and then notifications. At the top, you have a global toggle button which turns the notifications on or off for the app that you have selected. Therefore, if I turn this off, I would not get any notifications for the Messages app. Always deliver immediately will deliver messages to you even if you have focus set up with Do Not Disturb. So if you leave this turned on, it will deliver the message straight away and leave it on the locked screen for one hour. I will do a video on focus at some stage, so hit that subscribe button. Alright, let's learn about what the different alerts are. So you have lock screen, notification center and banners. Lock screen is the first screen that you see when you unlock your phone. Notification center, you can find that by doing the swipe from the top left. And I will show you what banners are when I send a text to my phone. Okay, cool, there it is at the top and that is the banner. If you didn't want your text messages to show up as a banner or on the lock screen, you would just turn these off. If you tap on banner style, this will allow you to set the banner as persistent. This means it will stay up as a banner until you read it. So it will sit at the top of your screen until you do something with it. If you go into sounds, you can change the vibration of an alert as well as the sound it makes when it comes in. Badges. Badges are the little round circles that appear on your app when you have an unread message. These are handy on messages, but when I had this turned on on my emails, it showed I had 12,000 unread emails, which was rather annoying. So I've turned this off on my emails. So you can see here now that I've turned the badges off on my messages app. Next is lock screen appearance. Under show previews, you can set it to always, when unlocked or never. Always means is that it will always show up on your lock screen. This can be a privacy issue. If you don't want others to read your message, then I would set these to when unlocked or never. Notification grouping allows you to group your notifications. You can group it by app or you can just turn the groups off. The last option and possibly the most annoying is customize notifications and then repeat alerts. In here you can control how many times your messages will make a sound when a message comes in. If you don't pick your phone up and check the message when it first comes in, it will send another alert two minutes later. This could be why people get overwhelmed and think they are getting so many messages. For me, I would set this to never. It's probably the main reason people are addicted to their phones. Guys, if you want to see other iPhone, iPad tips, such as how to arrange your iPhone icons the easy way, click on that video. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.